buddy. What's up, guys? Out here at the Minnesota State Fair again. Um, going over the top of banks. You might wonder how you get a nice, if you have a bank ramp, how you get a nice smooth edge up on the top. I don't know if it's called a bevel or a miter or what it's called. Uh, oh, okay. But we're just going to call it a really hard annoying cut. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, get perfect straight line cuts every time. And uh, we've just been calling it the finger guide out here on the build crew as of about 30 seconds ago. Bloody finger. So uh, we got we got our board secured, as you can see, with a couple screws into, into the frame of the bank here. We don't want it to move around while we're while we're cutting. So what we did is we took our, our speed square, we found out the angle of the bank. Let's go over that real quick since it's right here. All right guys, here's how you find the angle of the bank. You have your speed square, all right? You put the lip on the bank, right? You see how it's overhanging right there? All you do is push it and pivot it flat. And as you can see, it's just over 15, which would be 16. All right, so we got 16 degrees. You look on Schmidt's saw here, awesome saw, brand new. It's at 16 degrees too, all right? So check this out. You're gonna get in on here, all right? Zoom in on this one. Now here's how, here's where the magic happens, all right? What we're gonna do is put our fingers on the edge of the, the cut frame down here. All right, so we're just gonna keep our fingers there and it's gonna guide this back line. Make sure your boards are nice and straight for a nice straight cut. And you're gonna get a perfect cut every time. All right, so here we go. Alright guys, with that said, it's not a race, it's a pace, alright? Don't push it through, go nice and slow, let the blade cut the wood, don't force it through, and uh, yeah, always wear your safety glasses and have fun building ramps out there guys, ram it down.